Hi guys, it is time for February favorites already. February is such a short month, so it just comes and goes so quickly. It snuck up on me that I had to do another video already. So here are my favorites for February. I will start with this product here. It is called Beauty Water and it's a Korean brand called Sun and Park. I love the simple minimalistic packaging. I started using this last year and I ran out and I haven't reordered it again until February and I really love this product. I mostly use it um, during the daytime right before I apply my makeup. It just cleanses my skin and makes me feel very refreshed and there's a really nice clean scent that I love. Let me read the exact description of what it is. It is a smart cleansing liquid made from natural plant extracts that gently clean, exfoliate, and moisturizes to deliver smooth, hydrated skin. So it's really nice and all natural ingredients. I also like to use it at nighttime whenever I am lazy to wash my face. I would wipe my makeup off with a makeup remover wipe and then come in with this on a cotton pad to really just get everything off. There's a lot of residue left over when you use just a makeup wipe and I didn't realize that until I used this product. So I just love using this whenever I feel like my skin needs to feel refreshed and it's really nice. I really love grocery shopping. I enjoy browsing the aisles and seeing any new products to try. So next up is this yogurt. I, I don't know why, but I really like browsing the yogurt aisle to see if there's anything good and different. Uh, this one is called Misha. It's called Quark. It's a type of yogurt that's popular in Europe, I guess, and it's very thick and creamy. And the best part about this is that there is no tart taste. So if you don't like yogurt because it's too tarty, this might be perfect for you. I don't mind the tart taste, but it just tastes like dessert and it's pretty healthy, a lot of protein. I mean, I'm not looking for a healthy yogurt or anything like, like that. I just want it to taste good. <laughs> I tried the vanilla bean coconut flavor and it's so good with some fruits. It just tastes like dessert. So if you're like me and you enjoy yogurt, I highly recommend this one. And if you are looking for a healthier alternative to dessert, try this and mix it with some berries and it is so good. My favorite song of the month is I Feel It Coming by The Weeknd. When I first heard this on the radio, I thought it had such a Michael Jackson vibe to it. I'm a huge fan of Michael Jackson's music and I feel like even The Weeknd's vocals in here sounded like Michael Jackson. And it's such a great song, it has great beat and I really like it. We didn't binge watch any shows in February, but a show that I've been loving ever since it premiered this past fall is This Is Us. I'm sure you've heard about it, and if you're not watching it, you should. I don't want to give away too much, but you're following the lives of these people through their triumphs and their struggles, and there are heartwarming moments and heart-wrenching moments, and this past episode just left me in tears, and I can't remember the last time that has happened. Such a beautiful storyline and I can't wait to see more of it. A lot of winter things go on sale in February I feel like because they're gearing up for the spring so I snagged a few winter items. It's still pretty cold in Boston. I got this coat at um, Nordstrom and it's Vince Camuto and it's really nice. I can't put it on right here but maybe I can. <laughs> It's not too bulky, uh, and I love this fur hat here. <laughs> it's so nice. It's um, yeah, it's just like a puffy jacket that you don't feel like the Michelin Man. I love the fur; it just feels so luxe. And um, it's not a coat that's super warm, but it'll definitely do in like 40 degree weather, I think. So I love it. We're actually going to Iceland soon, and. I think this is gonna be so good for it. <laughs> Another winter item that I've been loving are these boots from Sperry's. Uh, I got them because they were recommended by Extra Petite. I love her, I love her blog, I love her classic feminine style and although I'm not quite petite, um, I do love the stuff she recommends. She recommends really great items and if they happen to work for me, I'm super happy. So these boots, they 
It's hard to find nice looking winter boots because they're usually very bulky. These are actually very feminine. There's like an almond shaped toe box so it just looks more feminine and not so bulky. And there's a wedge going so you get some height and they're super comfortable. And I love that it's a zipper on the side because I really hate doing the laces. It's just so annoying. So I really love these boots and they're definitely going to with me to Iceland as well. And now I want to talk about my local favorites. And since we're talking about Jean of Extra Petite, who is also a local Bostonian, I asked her where she would recommend getting a haircut at and she recommended me to go to Graziella at Salon Capri and I just had such a ter ter not terrible, I had a terrific experience there and my hair is, we chopped off like 5 inches. I just love the haircut she gave me. I'm very low maintenance with my hair and she listened to that and just gave me the haircut that I love. I was so excited to get this haircut because it's been like a year since I gotten a haircut. And it's definitely on the pricier end, but I only cut my hair like twice a year so it's fine and they have these massage chair when you're getting your hair washed and it's so nice. Yeah, so thank you Jean for another great recommendation and thank you Graziella at Salon Capri for giving me such a great haircut. For Valentine's Day, we bought a box of chocolate from, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, but I'll try my best. I think it's got, oh, no honking. Okay, I think that person stopped honking now. It's got to come de fil, de fil, I don't know. <laughs> There's no chocolate left in there. If you can see, it only lasts five days for freshness because Alexandra, who owns this chocolate shop, hand makes each chocolate with fresh ingredients and it is so good. There's like fresh ganaches inside these chocolates. I love there's like a honey walnut one that was so delicious. There's a cardamom one, a lemon, and the plain vanilla, which I thought would be, might be kind of boring, was so good. She does different seasonal flavors because she can make them in small batches. I'm excited to go and buy some more to try. They're four or five dollars a piece, which is pricey, but if you think about all the work that goes into making this one piece of chocolate, it, it really isn't because the time she has to spend to make it, renting out a kitchen, buying the materials, there's just so much involved for a small business owner to do this. It just takes so much passion and hard work to get a business like this going and I'm just happy that I'm able to support it in a small way by purchasing her chocolates and it just makes me happy and it doesn't hurt that the chocolates are so good. <laughs> this month we also visited Lady M on Newbury Street to try out their seasonal Earl Grey crepe cake and it was amazing. I love Earl Grey flavored dessert and it's, it's a flavor that's a little bit hard to come by around here. There were tons when I visited Japan but um, it was really good. I first had Lady M's crepe cake seven or nine years ago in New York City so I'm happy that Boston finally has its own and it's a nice place if you need to pick up a slice of cake or a whole cake for a special occasion or just for a little treat. I just wish that the Earl Grey wasn't a seasonal flavor because I think that's my favorite one. The matcha one and the original one is really good as well. Alright, lastly we're going back to my love for browsing the supermarket aisles. I was at H Mart and I found this Castella cake in the refrigerated section. It doesn't look like much but somehow I'm attracted to dessert that has a milk bottle design or an indication that there's milk in there because to me that just signifies like something that's light and creamy but not too sweet. So when I saw this I was like huh. I picked it up and what got me was when I touched it. It was just so soft. Just so soft for a dessert and I had to buy it. This is imported from Japan. I've been waiting to eat this one, so I'm gonna open it now. And I think a Castella cake is just like a sponge cake. Some people make it with like honey. This is what it looks like. There are five pieces. 
It's the fluffiest sponge cake ever. Mm. It's so good. It's like not too sweet as I suspected. And just so moist and so good. And it's super light. It's like air. This with a cup of tea makes my day. <laughs> so if you're in H Mart and also like sponge cake or dessert that are not too sweet, check this out. It was in like the refrigerated section where mochis and other sponge cakes were. Well, those were my favorites for February. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe to see more. I'll see you next time. Bye!